Hi everyone, Gwen here from the Dolly Madison Library. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own tie-dye t-shirt with things that you probably already have at home. You're going to need a white t-shirt, food coloring, a squirt bottle, and I just used a plastic water bottle that I poked a hole in the top of and I filled it about a quarter of the way with just regular water. You'll need some distilled white vinegar, rubber bands or hair ties, a plastic bag, and a pot. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to soak our t-shirt in some distilled white vinegar. Now, not everyone says that you have to do this step, but people say that it works better. So we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna start by pouring just enough vinegar into my pot. So that'll be able to cover my t-shirt. So I pour just a little bit in there. I will add more if I decide that I need more. Our next step now is going to be to put that swirl in and rubber band it. We're gonna take it out. I have this garbage bag that I've put down to protect my countertop from food coloring and the mess. And I'm just going to do the basic swirl design, which is you start in the center and you just start twisting. When you have your shirt twisted up in a spiral, you're gonna get your rubber bands or hair tie and you're just going to rubber band it. The more you rubber band it, and the tighter you rubber band it, the more white space there will be in your t-shirt. So now we're going to take our water and our squirt bottle and our food coloring and we are going to put some food coloring in. I'm going to take my bundle of tie-dye and my squirt bottle and I'm just going to squirt it just wherever I want. All right, so I'm gonna call that good. I'm going to take my plastic bag. Open this up. And I'm going to put my tie dye in here and I'm gonna squeeze out all of the air. So now that we have our tie-dye in our bags, we're gonna let this sit for about eight to 12 hours or just overnight, and then we'll do our next step. After your shirt has sat out overnight, you're going to soak it in a salt water mixture. You'll need one half cup salt and one half cup water for the mixture. You're then going to soak your shirt for about 10 minutes. After you finish soaking, rinse out your shirt until the water runs clear. To finish up, take your rinsed shirt and either hang it up in a sunny place to dry or use a dryer. One thing to know about your tie-dye t-shirt is that when you wash it, you need to make sure to wash it separately from other items. For the first few washes, there's a really good chance that some of the dye in your shirt will bleed into other shirts, other clothing in the laundry, so it needs to be washed separately for the first couple washes until you feel comfortable washing it with everything else. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed making your own tie-dye t-shirt using food coloring. Be sure to subscribe to Fairfax County Public Library on YouTube for other great videos. And check out our website at fairfaxcounty.gov library to see our calendar of events and programs, as well as all of the awesome online services we have available. We hope to see you again soon.